How many crash retrieval incidents have there been? It is double digit. Uh, these sp- specific numbers, I do know. However, I can't discuss that. And I know it sounds like, oh, I'm being coy or whatever, but. You know, this show, any other interviews I do, right, you know, foreign intelligence services are watching. And it's like, I'm not here to help Russia and China calibrate their intelligence collection. Like, oh, Dave said it's this number. We missed a couple. Shit. Let's put it out for the KGB, SVR, and GRU are now going to hit the streets to try to figure out which ones they miss. So I'm, I'm here to protect national security, and I'm just trying to put all the general topics out there for public conversation to hold our government accountable, really. Mm. So because I'm I'm here as a fact witness because we have a you know a constitutional oversight issue because this program has not been you know reported to Congress in the appropriate way. You know, and I can get into a senator I talked to that has died recently so I can, you know, explain to you why I'm so sure, besides what I read, which we can get into the what Intel port reports I read, I did get some stuff cleared. Um, so during my investigation, I'm like, you know what, I need to talk to somebody at the highest levels, right? So, and this will give you an idea of the kind of people we talk to. And this is the only one I'm going to talk about using their name because they died two years ago. So in spring 2021, I actually flew with a couple colleagues of mine to Las Vegas and I met with Senator Harry Reid about nine months before he died. And, of course, he's a private citizen now. And I wanted to brief him on the topic. And I wanted to get his kind of thought leadership on it because, you know, he was a Gang of Eight member, right, you know, which is the top most cleared senators and congressmen. He was the majority leader, for God's sakes, of the Senate. And I knew, you know, he helped sponsor the OSAP program that I mentioned and you know, where they looked at Skinwalker Ranch and some other things. And I wanted to understand, like, what does Harry Reid actually know? Like, why did he, you know, give $21 million to DIA and Bigelow Aerospace for this? So I'm sitting there in Harry Reid's living room, you know, right next to him with some other witnesses that were there with me. And he straight up says, he's like, yeah, I knew we had UFO material. I was denied access for decades I tried to get access, and then he explained some of his efforts during OSAP, uh, and I was like, holy shit, did the the former majority leader just say, did he just confirm this to me as well? You know, I was already talking to these amazing high-level people, but I have Harry Reid literally saying, yes, we have material, and, you know, he knew it was non-human. Did Harry Reid have personal experience with this? I don't know if he's had any personal stuff in his personal life. I mean, did he see it? Did he? He did said, he in terms of seeing the material himself, he said he was denied access for years, or decades was his term. And he actually told me, on behalf of me, he was going. So he had like a weekly call with President Joe Biden at the time, and he straight up said to me he was going to talk to President Biden about this issue. Literally. And then uh, what he was telling me about OSAP, um, I was like, holy shit, I have like 20 other people that told me this, dude. So the real history, what fucking OSAP was, because I think there's a lot of people out there that think they were looking at ghosts, Skinwalker Ranch. Yes, they went to the ranch as a secondary and tertiary objective. But the real uh, reason, so like there's a document that came out a couple years ago through FOIA from the Defense Intelligence Agency. There was this special access program request that Harry Reid, you might have seen this, I think like George Knapp and company have reported on this, that he sent to the Deputy Secretary of Defense, William Lynn. And it was asking for one of the most serious saps you can ask for, what they call a bigoted, waived special access program. So waived means it's limited congressional reporting. Um, That is a class of special access programs. And bigoted means it's like by name. And it's like it was like uh, you can read the FOIA document. It was like, you know, Harry Reid, James Inhofe, uh, Lou Elizondo, et cetera. And I'm like, why are you asking for the most serious sap to be created for 
a program that ostensibly is looking at Skinwalker Ranch and stuff, and it doesn't make any sense. So what really happened there, and uh, you know, Harry Mead, Harry Reid, God bless his soul, made this disclosure um, a couple weeks after we met uh, in the New Yorker, and you can look this up. I think it was like a May 2021 New Yorker story where he says. I knew for decades, and he made this disclosure, not me. So I'm going to say the name of the contractor. Harry Reid said this. Uh, you know, we knew that Lockheed Martin had this material for decades. I tried to get access, and I was denied. And specifically with the Lockheed Martin stuff, he was talking about during the OSAP program. And for the people who are on this program, I submitted this shit to the officer, got this cleared, so don't freak out. But I'm telling the truth here. Um, so Lockheed Martin wanted to divest itself from this material at a specific facility that's known to me that I provided to the inspector general, um, like street address, all that shit. Right. And the idea was if they made a catcher's mitt, a security catcher's mitt for this shit, at, you know, most serious sap possible, the contractor and the other government customer, which was the central intelligence agency, um, for that specific Lockheed material. And it was shit that they recovered from like the fifties and stuff. And it was like bits and pieces of, 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 of like hall structure, shit like that. And um, uh, so they were going to tech transfer it. And the 21 or $22 million was actually for Bigelow Aerospace to build out, you know, facilities in Las Vegas and material analysis equipment. And I've seen, I have, I saw the staff meeting slides. I saw the paperwork. Like there's a f paperwork trail I've seen on this shit. And I talked to the people involved in this program.